What's going on, y'all? So this is Nine Mag Season 1, Episode 6, You Ain't God and You Ain't My Daddy, okay? And you damn sure right about that, goddamn it. Let me tell y'all this. I like this show. I do. Because they on some fuck shit, you know? And I'm going to have to keep it way, way 100 and way real with these niggas. Because this episode, this probably was one of my least favorite episodes. Because I saw a whole bunch of bitch assness from damn near everybody in the goddamn, all the motherfucking niggas. Okay? Y'all grown ass men and y'all can't even handle y'all own responsibilities. Y'all all up in y'all goddamn feelings. For fucking what? That shows all the insecurities that you have in your life. Okay? You are putting your insecurities on everybody that's around you. Okay? Ryan, you the main motherfucker that do that. I'm sorry. I have to go there because you are doing the absolute most. Okay? Get yourself some motherfucking help. Okay? You know, because this being up in my feelings because I got abandonment issues because my mama wasn't there and all this shit, you putting it all on other people. Okay? You obviously have a problem with women leaving you and, you know, you feeling the type of way because I don't see you going as hard on four, you know, because he's putting his effort and time into um not only just tattooing but also his music as much as you be doing cat okay i don't see you going hard on anybody else but fucking cat you know and i'm just sitting here like are you goddamn serious okay and none of your fucking excuses make sense or justify your argument or your position in this cat ain't do shit cat ain't trying to come up off of you and you know i'm just sitting here like what the fuck am i looking at like I just don't get where he coming from. I don't. So, Kat, you know, you start off, you trying to act like you ain't fuck four. Y'all both gonna keep up with that story. Van said, four and um Don, they treat their women differently. But they both the same in this instance in the fact that they both be lying about what the fuck they do with them. Okay? Y'all fuck, okay? I, I'm going to put it out there. Y'all fucked. I don't give a shit. Ain't no way in hell I'm drunk as shit like that unless we passed out as soon as the door open. And I mean blacked out. No, bitch. You kiss me and you doing all that stuff. It ain't going to be just no kissing and licking on toes and stuff or whatever the fuck it is that you said y'all did. We sticking something. Okay? Somebody eating something. Somebody sucking something. Okay? Somebody going to make somebody nut. All right? That's what it is. I don't give a fuck. Y'all can play that shit. Play that game. Play that game with somebody who don't do stupid, okay? We ain't stupid out here in these streets. You know, so Kat wanna put up a friend like she ain't fuck him, telling the girls what's going on. Okay, fuck all that. I don't give a damn about that. They get to the tattoo convention, okay? You know, Danielle and Charmaine is her um little assistants and all that stuff. They tell Kat about, you know, the black mag, not black mag, black ink party okay you know they having a party for them because they coming out there in um new york and you know they meeting up and all that stuff that's fine whatever y'all cool you do what you gotta do cat said she don't know if she'll be able to come through because she got so much stuff to do when she got a client to tattoo and all that stuff that's fine that is a good enough fucking reason for me all right and let's keep in mind Cat's priority and main reason to come out to New York was not to come chill with Black Ink Crew, okay? It was to go to this tattoo convention, get her weight up, get her stuff out there, and do what the fuck she gotta do, okay? That's what she signed up for. She didn't sign up to come out to Black Ink Crew, okay? So you cannot get pissed off that she don't show up and say that she being disrespectful. Oh, she at least could have called, bitch, if that's, that's not what I wanted to do, I don't have to, okay? Who the fuck are you? Oh, because you had a show and they got this show first, they paved the way. No, they didn't pave the way for shit, okay? Because y'all shit is so much better than theirs, all right? And and we'll get there. We'll get there. So Kat got this um this banner. It say Cat Tat. Bitch, because you motherfuckers didn't sign on and y'all would have had Nine Mag up there. You know, they gave them a placeholder, Nine Mag, and, you know, just so that she could know where her booth was. But you had to make the money to, um, you know, put forth the money or whatever to make the banner, all that stuff. That shit that they gave them was a placeholder to hold the spot. She had to put in for the money and all that shit. She got that shit done. And I don't even fucking blame her, okay? If I'm getting called... To do a tattoo tour at a convention, 
I'm myself getting called, get out and promote my shit, bitch. I gave y'all the opportunity seven months ago to come as Nine Mad. If you would have been off your high horse and would have just said, okay, yeah, I'll come and, you know, we'll kick it and all that stuff and, you know, put on for Nine Mad instead of making all these excuses. Oh, don't know niggas go out there as racist and all this stuff. Bitch, put your motherfucking name on the map and put your motherfucking work on the motherfucking map, okay? You would have had a big-ass banner that said Nine Mad that 9 out of 10 would have had all y'all motherfucking tattoo artists on there okay so you cannot get in your feelings when you show up and you see it's just cat tat because bitch guess who they call they call cat off of her work they didn't call nan mag she asked to put nan mag on there y'all didn't want to so obviously she's doing something right why wasn't it that nan mag was not called in just cat why she had to bring y'all along y'all had to turn it down so, Ryan, with this, um, you know, it's the Cat Tat show. You going over there to Black Ink and you getting in your feelings and you talking to Caesar and all them about what's going on. And, and you know, it's like, where would she be without Black Ink? Where would she be without Nine Mag and all this stuff? Ryan, you have this complex as if you made people and as if what you say goes just because you own Nine Mag. Girl, you keep on playing. Keep on playing, and motherfuckers gonna leave your ass and go on to bigger and better things, and you gonna still be up in that mad sulking, okay? Fucking sulking and pouting, all right? Because everybody gonna come in there, oh, why are you leaving me? Stop it. Fucking stop it. Grow the fuck up and learn what business is. Everybody don't stay in the same place at once at all for, for, for years and years and years and years. Okay? People want to be bosses themselves. People don't want to work under other people, you know? And that don't mean that they being disloyal. Why wouldn't she want to put her brand out there? Why wouldn't you want to put your brand out there? You steady bitching about shit instead of putting your brand out there. Like, come on, like, you wasting time being jealous. That's what it is. You're being envious. You're being jealous. And it's just, it's just not a fucking good look. You're sensitive as hell, okay? You need to get that shit under fucking control. Ain't nobody trying to um, take over your shit and, 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 and do other stuff behind your back and be disloyal and all that stuff. No, nigga. Then you get there and it just irks me the way that um, when they get to the black ink, and, you know, even Duchess has something to say. She ain't even called me up, you know. She ain't let me know. And they all want to basically shit on Cat and make it seem as if Cat had to call you and let you know. Had to come, okay. Cat did not come to New York to be at Black Ink, okay. Cat came to New York for a fucking convention, all right. Charmaine and them told her the day of that they was going to have the fucking party, all right? So, obviously, she did know, and obviously, she had other shit to do. We seen her at the convention tattooing a dude. You know, she won, he wanted Frida Kahlo on his, on his arm and all that stuff, and she was like, I can relate because, you know, tattooing is a male-dominated uh, field, and it just seems like a lot of men always trying to push her down, which they do. Like, come on. Y'all all do good-ass work. Why y'all ain't out there trying to get all the um spotlight for yourself, too? Like, I just don't get it. I don't understand the sensitivity, the negativity towards Kat. Oh, because she's doing good. She got to be disloyal. And it ain't even because I'm a female. It's just that I see what it is. I see fucking what it is. If it was one of them going out there getting their shit on, I wouldn't even care either. I would be like, go ahead and do that. You want to get your work out there. You want to. And like I said in the beginning... You cannot get mad because, you know, you see a banner that says cat tat. Bitch, nine mag ain't there. Y'all passed up that opportunity and they call cat. Catherine. Katrina. What the fuck ever her name is. Katrina. They calls her based off of her work. And then Ryan, you talking to her as if you made her. Like she wasn't shit before nine mag. Bitch, nine mag ain't been up that long. Okay, so come on now. Stop with this stupidity bullshit. It's just ignorance just sitting here looking at y'all like you have no fucking reason to be in your feelings like this. It's just dumb. Instead of you downplaying what she's doing instead of uplifting. Like I said, y'all could be a partnership and just take over the fucking game. But you so busy in your damn feelings and it just don't make no fucking sense. Um, They up at the party, you know. And I'm sitting here like, okay, 
all y'all want to clown her and feel a type of way because Kat didn't show up. Like I said, she was not obligated to come. Uh, you know, that ain't no fucking disrespect. Oh, because, you know, they paved the way for a lot of black... No, they didn't. Y'all talking about black fucking ink crew like as if, you know... They were the first fucking black tattoo artist ever to put it down. No, the fuck they not. Okay, the only reason why y'all holding them in such high esteem is because they made it on fucking TV. Okay, they still in the fucking slums. Okay, they tattoos still ain't worth shit. All right, so don't act like they really the cream de la creme of tattoo artists in the black or minority field because they are not. They are not. There are better people, I'm pretty sure of it, that you can look up to, okay? You can, you know, say you idolize, even though you're not supposed to idolize humans or whatever in false gods. But, you know, it is what it is. You know, I'm just saying, like, you making it seem like they really the shit and they not. And I ain't even trying to hate on them. Though I know it sounds like I'm hating on them, but I'm just putting it out there. They're not the best of the best. Okay, you can be cool with somebody and give respect and dues or whatever because you know them or you came up to them and, you know, um, oh, they took me under their wing or whatever. You can have that respect, but come on, let's, 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 let's be fucking real here. Okay, y'all don't owe Black Ink nothing. Okay, Cat don't owe Black Ink nothing. All right, you know, just because they paved the way for y'all to get a fucking show probably i can understand that but don't make it seem as if you know they the best of the best because they clearly aren't you know and i got people out here in chicago that's better than them come on now including y'all like let's be fucking real and realistic about this so y'all at the damn party right <laughs> i'm thinking okay we gonna have a good time we gonna have a good time put the shit aside and here comes charmaine she trying to she was, I, this is the only part that I will agree with dying on. She was trying to be seen. That bitch was everywhere. She was like, hey girl, I'm Charmaine. I do this. She was like, we got the titties. And I was like, Charmaine, sit your ass down. Okay, y'all got alcohol in y'all system and y'all doing so much. And I just knew the shit was going to pop off then. Because next thing you know, her and Don going back and forth. You know you want this dick, bitch. She was like, I fucked that nigga like five times and it wasn't all that good. It was good enough to go back for seconds, third, fourth, and fifths. You know what I'm saying? Stop playing, Charmaine. So I was like, wait a minute. I thought y'all fucked her once. And I was like, when I go back and I look and I think and I'm like, hmm. The way you poured him into the bathroom and y'all, he eagerly went. It did kind of seem like y'all did this shit before. So I was like, okay, that kind of does make sense. But, you know, y'all going back and forth. You know you love this dick. You know you miss this pussy. You know you did. I'm sitting here like, um, you're not even at home, okay? And I was with Ryan. Don't bring fucking shop business to somebody else's place. It was Van that had to tell their asses off. And I was like, come through, Van, because you the only nigga up in this motherfucker that got sense sense. You know? Four be sitting there just quiet, just looking at stuff like... I mean, that's my brother, so I'm going to have to be on his side. Even though I know what he's doing is wrong, but, hey, that's my brother. I'm just let it play out. Why, nigga? What the fuck? What the fuck? But they just going back and forth, and they causing the scene. And, you know, next thing, you know, Charmaine was like, so what you going to do? You going to give my baby, your baby mama to whip my ass again or some shit like that? I said, Charmaine, shut up. This is when I was like, you know, Charmaine, hush. Put a lid on it. It could have ended right there, but of course, no. Then all of a sudden, Charmaine is sitting on that couch. First of all, Sky is sitting on that couch. I was like, girl. Sky was like, so they fucked. Y'all fucked. Y'all used to do each other. I said, lead it to fucking Sky. I love Sky. Sky make black ink for me. But um, next thing you know, Charmaine is talking to somebody else, and she is telling the whole damn story behind their relationship. And I was like... You ain't need to do that. You ain't need to do it. I don't give a damn if you was drunk or whatever. You ain't need to throw all that out there. And, of course, Don get mad. Leave my baby mama name out your mouth. You don't talk shit about my baby mama. I was like, she wasn't even talking shit. You know, and Danielle had to stand up. And I like Danielle because Danielle will stand up for her fam. And she was like, you ain't finna let my, uh, make my um cousin out here to be no damn hoe. Because truth be told, she was only fucking with you when you lied. And like they said, this motherfucker is trying to cover up the fact that he fucked Charmaine and trying to get back in good graces and keep the 
lie that he told to um Ashley. That's the only reason why he's acting the way that he's acting. He can't admit the truth to himself that he fucked this girl more than once, all right? And you go off and get all pissed off because you know you wrong, okay? You gonna get yourself high blood pressure. You gonna stroke your ass out as angry as you be getting. It just be pissing me off. And then Ryan had to take him outside trying to talk to him, trying to calm him down. Sky was in the background. <laughs> oh, shit. You ain't gonna do that? You, you, you. And I was like, okay, she was just being funny. And then that's thing, you know, I'm thinking that they being funny with each other, like playing playing with each other. What you gonna do? You ain't gonna do shit. You ain't gonna do this. And then I just realized like a few seconds in after 30 seconds that they was really going at it. Ryan and Scott. And I said, what the hell? <laughs> what? I'm confused. Like, and they had to pull Scott ass out. Ryan, like, I ain't finna argue with no women. Bring a man so I can do some shit. I was like, but you always... You do argue with, them. okay. I mean, if you say so, if hey, to each his own. So the next day, you know, wait, Charmaine, they talking to Charmaine and uh, um, Van telling them, you know, you don't have to bring this shit out here to this, and you know, telling them y'all need to chill out on this bullshit. I was like, come on through, Van, tell them the fucking truth. So the next day, they sitting out there talking, Ryan. Van and um Ford and, and, and Don about Kat not being at the party. That's being disrespectful. Oh, she didn't talk to me. She didn't call me and all this stuff. But did y'all reach out to her? Did they say that they reached out to her? Because I don't know. I don't know if I heard that. I, and if they did, I don't remember. Did they reach out to her? Why she got to reach out to y'all? She gave y'all the opportunity to come out there a long time ago. Y'all passed that up seven months ago. So, you know, she's out here on business. She's not out here on pleasure. Even though she got her um, pussy ass, she ain't out here on pleasure like that. You know what I'm saying? She out here to make her connections. That's what you do at a fucking convention. Like, come on. It just irked me the way that they was going about it. Then when they finally get there, they was like, we still going to show up. We ain't going to do no two wrongs going to make a right, tit for tat type of shit. We going to show up and see what it is. And, of course, they going to get in their feelings because... Oh, it's no nine mag uh banner. Yeah, Kat did say that she did put nine mag on there, and that's what they gave her as a placeholder. But she also had her own banner made, and like I said earlier in the review, they call Kat, so therefore she's gonna promote her stuff because she gave y'all prime opportunity to say, "Hey, we're gonna come," so therefore we can get a nine mag banner. But no, that didn't happen. So therefore, I'm gonna display my stuff. And once again, why was it not, was not mad called to do this and y'all just turned it down? Or did Kat really have to invite y'all? Like, what's the, that's, that's the issue right there. That should tell you something right there too. Like, it was just irking me the way he was, they was all up in their feelings. And I'm like, <sighs> it's just like niggas that just don't like to see motherfuckers grow. And then I just don't like that attitude that Ryan has, you know, they have a little party afterwards. They go out to the club and all this stuff and everybody is okay. Um, Don pulled um, Charmaine to the side trying to apologize and all this stuff. And Charmaine called him out on his shit and he was like, why she keep on bringing this stuff up? And I'm like, if you wasn't prepared to listen to what she had to say, why even try to attempt to apologize at that moment? Because he wasn't trying to hear the truth come from her. Like he just don't want to understand the truth. Like, I just don't get it. But then, Kat was pissed off because, you know, she wanted to kick it with four. Four and Don, Don said some chick was like, you know, he looked like LeBron. So, he just gonna say, I'm LeBron. And bitch, when them bitches came over, them bitches was trash. Them white girls was trash. No shade. And I seen some pretty white girls. Them bitches was trailer park trash. No shade. They just look rough. I said, really? Y'all got these old looking hoes on y'all? They look like... Two steps away from meth addicts. I just didn't understand, you know? And so, you know, Kat was talking to Ryan, and they go outside. And this is where Kat was trying to... Everything that I just said, Ryan was just putting it out there, showing just his insecurities. You upset at what? I mean, how many times can we say this? Like, you cannot... And I was very much here for Kat saying, you ain't God and you ain't my daddy, okay? That's how he talked. He talks as if... You know, he owns everything. Like, he made Kat. Kat was tattooing most likely before she got with you at 9 Mag. The reason why you probably, unless she was an uh, one of your apprentice, apprentices, she knew what she was doing when you hired her. That's why you hired her. Because of her work. You didn't make her work. 
Okay, you didn't put in that time. She knew what she was doing. This bitch is tattooing a fucking damn geisha girl or whatever the fuck it is, burlesque girl, to the motherfucking T on her own leg with all the detail. Girl, did you teach her that? Or did she perfect them skills herself? Okay, she's getting props because of her work. It's not saying that she's putting down Nine Mag and Nine Mag didn't make her. Nine Mag is just her home for the moment. All right. Everybody don't stay in the same position in life all the time. You have to move forward. That's progressing. Okay. That's progressing. All right. You can't get in your feelings for that. You know, and Ryan, you just uh, take an X lack and go shit or something. Like he just constipated or something. I don't know. I'm just, I just don't know. It just irks me the way that they just coming down and not trying to see you automatically go the negative route when you're thinking about cat. I just don't understand that. Like, this girl, what is she supposed to do? Just sit back and be under your tutelage for the rest of her life? Like, no. Four ain't gonna do that. Van ain't gonna do that. Van about to go to jail. Might go to jail, okay? You know, maybe he gonna come out and he wanna think of doing something else. You gonna be pissed off about that, too? <sighs> like, grow up. Grow up. Like, for real, for real. But y'all tell me how I had to go in. I'm sorry. I had to go in because, you know, I, it wouldn't be me if I didn't keep it real. You know, like I said, I can like you, but I'm going to have to pull your cards when I need to pull your cards. And I had to pull all y'all niggas' cards. Okay, Charmaine, shut the fuck up. All right? <laughs> Cat, go ahead and do what you got to do and make sure, you know, don't even fucking worry. As long as they keep on asking. And then Caesar had the nerve to say, you know, you might just have to um end that situation right then and there. And I was like, oh, so because she at the convention and she's doing her because y'all missed out on the opportunity and didn't want to do nothing with it. Oh, it's time to end that convention. It's in a relationship. Bitch, in a relationship and watch Cat still going to go ahead and flourish. That's still going to be fucking lost. But, um... Oh, did it just slow up? That's time to tell me to just cut the shit off. That was Black Ink Crew Chicago, y'all. I'll see y'all later. Y'all tell me how y'all feel. Peace.